Yes, but in America, you have uh, everything. You have a uh, television set and uh, music. You like uh, rock and roll. Oh, oh, Jupiter Stunter. Oh, if rock and roll is the most criminal of garbages, it, 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 is, it is a crutch. It is a crutch. Okay, it is bye a crutch. Bye. It will never sell me my ears. Oh, the relentless persecution I must endure. Oh. The only pure pop group that ever existed was the Fad Three. London, 1962. A nation on the verge of a social renaissance and a bright public relations agent by the name of Brian Fleming spots three young men walking down the Queen's Market Road. Oh yes, the way that they were so photogenic just turned me on my ear and kicked me in the crotch. Individually, they were Roy Crosswain, Val Thompson, and Neville Larry Smithson. Together, they would become known as the Fad Three. That same day, Brian took the ragtag group into Abington Studios for their first photo session. Oh yes, definitely. That first shoot was very exciting. Uh, the camera just loved them, and their images really took to the film. It stuck right on there, and I knew this was going to be a photo. The first photo was an instant worldwide hit. Why do you love the Fad Three so much? Because they're so cute. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and they're new. Oh, frightfully new. Yeah, and frightfully cute. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of the Fad Three? I don't like the dad to that shit. In my day, we did plenty of fadders, but they didn't make me go around chopping me head off. That's not a shame. Were you surprised by the response to the photo? Yes, we're all shocked. I even got scared. And how has this changed your lives? Well, we can't walk down the street without being mobbed by girls. And all the screaming, it's terrible. Yes, we all wish he'd stop screaming. Can't help it. Still scared, I'm afraid. <laughs> Albert Hall, 1962. Thursday. And the boys make their first public appearance before a paying crowd. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the Fad Three. <laughs> Next, the Fad Three were off to conquer the states. It's good, any questions? Yeah, boys, how do you like America? Sunny side up. <laughs> but then, during the press conference, Larry drops a bomb. Fellas, do you think your fame will grow? Well, we've been photographed more than Jesus Christ. Everyone agreed that this was true, and the group was shocked at the lack of controversy it ignited. <laughs> After months of thinking and growing facial hair, the boys regrouped and put out their most experimental photo to date. Entitled Overexposure, it became more widely known as the Blank Photo. <laughs> Sales were poor, and events such as Larry's continuing car problems, the rise of the Beatles, and an increase in the price of photo development quickly killed the public's waning interest in the Fad Three. What do you think of the Beatles? They're a freak act. Yeah. The three of them have not spent much time together since Larry's suicide in 1985. Val now divides his time between aisle six of the Norwich Quick Mart and the break room. He has said he would be willing to do a reunion photo, but only under any circumstances. Roy has taken the high road, donating his name and ex-celebrity status to charities and political movements. <laughs> 